Hi, welcome back to Eric's Little Welsh Garden. Today I'm going to talk to you about my pound stretcher onion sets and how they're getting on with growing. And I'm also going to tell you why you need to stop blaming birds for pulling out your onion sets. And I just want to say, if this is the first time you're watching my channel and you really enjoy this video, please do hit that subscribe button and ring the bell so you can be notified of all of my future videos. Anyway, let's get started and talk about the onions. So about a week ago, I did a video where I went to Pound Stretcher and I picked up some discount onion um, sets and seed potatoes. I'll put a link in the cards above that video if you didn't see it. But what was really interesting was everybody had really mixed opinions on whether buying cheap onion sets or cheap, um, you know, seed potatoes was good or bad. Many of you go for more expensive brands because you prefer it or you believe it's better quality. And there's quite a few of you that do go for the cheaper ones. And if you are new to gardening, I would really suggest buying the cheaper seed potatoes and things because, you know, in my opinion, they looked really good from Pound Stretcher. Again, watch the video and you can, you know, make your own opinion up. I mean, we've not finished shitting them yet, so we're, we'll see as the season goes on. But I want to talk to you about my onion sets um, and the proof will be in the picture. I'll show you in a minute. And I kind of got mixed reviews on it, really. So I thought since I did a video about buying them, I wanted to do a video to talk to you about how they're growing. And then possibly as the season goes on, we can have a look at how they actually grow in the ground and compare them. You know, I'm not planning on buying any onion sets um, apart from the ones I've got now. So I can't compare them against others um, that I'm growing but it'd be interesting to see how they compare with others that you are growing because I'm growing stuck garter, red baron and silver moon and I know quite a few of you do uh, grow red baron so if you're growing any of these varieties please let me know because it'd be interesting to see how they get on over the year and any you know time or throughout this please leave a comment below and let me know if you think the cheaper ones are just as good or not as good let me know but anyway let's have a look at the onions and see how they're getting on so this is the first set, set i'm showing you and these are the red barren ones as you can see a few of them have started to sprout already um, but underneath when i was having a look they all have roots coming out the bottom so they all seem to have fired really nicely and when i was chatting about them the other day i did note that they were really big and um, much bigger than the other onion sets that I picked up from Pound Stretcher. But when I've been reading up about um, onions in the last week, apparently it's the larger ones that are more likely to bolt. So that would be quite interesting to see if all of these bolt and um, yeah, how these ones get on. But so far, I'm really pleased with how they have actually grown. I think this is um, th well, this is a 40 cell tray and there were only a couple that I got rid of and there was meant to be 50 in the pack um, I'm not sure if there was 50 I didn't count them but you know I'm pretty happy with these 40 here they all look very plump and quite happy really so really pleased with how these ones are doing Okay, so these are the stuck garter ones and these were much um, smaller and I mean there were some slightly bigger ones but yeah, quite a lot of them were really tiddly so not seemingly as good quality as the Red Baron ones. Now when I've been reading up about onion sets um, over the last week I have, as well as understanding that the larger ones are more likely to bolt and the smaller ones apparently just take much longer to actually get going really. So we shall see how these ones do. But as you can see, they are really tiny here. And some of them, um, I did put like two in just because I was running out of space um, when they were growing. But there is something on here that I want to show you. Um, I don't know how well you can see here, um, but all of the roots are showing. Now, um, every single person, including me, has said that you know the birds do pull out the um onion sets because they think it's a little worm as you can see here that's poking out of the ground and i was a little robin i'd probably think that was a worm but what is really interesting is you can see this one here and this one look that one is the only bit of the root was kind of like 
that there. Sorry, I don't know if I just went off camera then. But yeah, the only bit in the soil was this bit and the rest of these roots were exposed. And when I put these in here, they got going really, really quickly. But every morning I kept coming down and they were like, like this one here, this one just completely tipped on their side and out of the soil. And it made me realize that actually we always blame birds or the frost for pushing our onion sets out. But one thing we don't really get, well, possibly you do, but I'd never thought of, is actually the force of the roots coming out of the bottom of the onion actually tip the onion over um this is seed compost here and it's not just normal compost it is actually designed for growing seeds in so it's very thin and you can really see here that a lot of them are tipping over so actually it's not birds that always pull our um, onion sets out it's just the roots pushing so hard to grow into the ground that it's tipping the onion set over and I think there's a really good way around that um I know um Liz Zorab and Paul did mention this before when they actually plant their onion sets they actually completely cover them now I'm sure that does stop the birds pulling them out because they can't see the very tip but also as the onion is pushing you know or trying to penetrate the ground with its roots it doesn't then tip completely out of the ground because it's covered so much so I've really learned a lesson here I mean I've really learned lessons completely with onions this year because you know I, I've lost one set of onions already um but this is just proof here that actually it's not things pulling our onion sets out it's because we're not actually planting them deep enough so when these all go in the ground they will be planted deep um or you know deeper than i would have done in the past so yes this is a stuck garter ones they're very small and um yeah we'll see how they do i mean if they seem to grow well and they are small i'll just use them as um as uh what they called spring onions so that's what i'll be doing with these but hopefully i get some nice big ones here anyway let's have a look at the silver moon ones here are the silver moon and i'm really really pleased with these they were the most kind of uniform shape out of all of the um packs that i got there were a couple of bigger ones which are here and here but most of them were like a really kind of good size there were no tiddly tiddly ones um in the packet like with those stuck garters and by the looks of it pretty much everyone is started growing apart from this one and this one in oh, actually that's got green coming so there's only two that don't have any signs yet of life but i think when i looked underneath earlier i think this one does have some roots so um It'd be interesting to see how these grow throughout the season compared to the other two varieties. But yes, really pleased with these. So there's just a quick overview of all of the sets here together. You can really see, though, these ones are doing so much better than the other two. Um, this is on a heated propagator, but I've not had it switched on. I'm just put purely using it as a base, really, where it can obviously not drip all over things because i don't have a drip tray for this so um there you go if you have any feedback on anything i've said or any advice please let me know also i have a question for you um but what i'll do is i'll switch the camera around and yeah hopefully you can give me some advice on that uh, like i just said i have an onion question that you might be able to help me with now we all um know that or possibly we don't know but an onion is biennial so it will flower in its second year and with onions grown from seed obviously if we start them off in kind of december january february time they will be edible um size by kind of july august time which means that we are eating them in their first year which means they're not going to go to go to seed or they're not going to flower or they're not going to bolt but with onion sets they are in their second year they're grown from seed in you know somewhere i'm not sure where in a nursery somewhere and they are then stopped from growing and then they're sold you know in the second year so generally they will be grown in the year that they are going to flower okay so 
that means that they are more likely to bolt than an onion grown from seed. Now, an onion grown from seed can still bolt in the same year if it thinks it's gone through a winter. So say, for instance, you um, grew it in like November, you know, under lights and stuff and then planted out in January or something. Then it got frozen in February. It could still actually bolt in, you know, April or something because it thinks it's had a frost. But onion sets will always be in their second season, which means that they are going to bolt. And we will talk about, like I just mentioned, that I'd read that, um, you know, bigger onion sets are more likely to bolt. And um, we all know things like, you know, not watering enough will make any plant bolt. But actually, is there a way that we can stop onion sets from bolting? I know you can buy heat treated ones, and I'm not really sure what the heat treating actually does to that bulb to make it not um, bolt or le less likely to bolt. I'm not sure. But can you actually give me some advice if there is a way of you actually being able to stop them to bolt? Because when you actually think about it, they are going to, you know, flower in their second year. So. In my opinion, I don't think there's any way that you can stop it from going to flower or going to seed. But I'd be really interested if there's any of you that have that advice for me or know somewhere that I can go and read up about it. Because, um, you know, I think that's quite an interesting question, really. Um, but I know there's lots of you out there that are way more experienced in growing onions than me as in the past I've kind of bought a set probably in like March time that were already sprouting and I've dotted them around the place and end up eating about 10. And um, last year I did grow onions from seed but we had them as um, spring onions really. So yeah, please give me some advice if you know the answer to that question, that'd be absolutely amazing. Anyway, I'm talking on now so I'm gonna head off Thanks very much for watching today. I really hope you've enjoyed. And if you are new to my channel and you have enjoyed watching, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and ring the bell to be notified of all of my latest videos. Thanks very much for watching. Take care. Bye.